I tell you the Motorhead story? Wait. Didn't you? I think so. I was, uh, Retail. I was at work. We had just gotten a, a shipment from uh, our South African supplier. We were unloading a bunch of containers and boxes and stuff. And um, I was playing music from my Bluetooth speaker and uh, Ace of Spades came on. Hard and, track. Or no, no, no. I, it wasn't even Motorhead. I was just like listening to whatever like daily mix I had on. And it was some like hardcore band. And this like old 46 year old dude that I work with walked past me and went, yo, dude, you like Motorhead? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. I like Motorhead. And he went, Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> he said Lenny. He said Lenny. He said Lenny. <laughs> oh. I didn't have the heart. I was, yeah, brother. Lenny. Hey, Lenny. Hey, Lenny, dog. Good dude. Fucking love the steak and whiskey. And yeah. Whores. Couldn't believe a whore. <laughs> There's no shot we're getting monetized over. <laughs> oh, I forgot about it. <laughs> I mean, it's cold open. You just, yeah, you, you know, know. It's episode one. We'll learn. Fucking Adobe Premiere. Has, oh, uh, Adobe Premiere has a... Uh, <laughs> little fancy uh you can voice over this part and i'll, I'll just tap it and it'll blank out the audio <laughs> okay what, what uh all right all right yeah yeah that's fine it, it'll work first 10 minutes is always censored and then we just... yeah i use that to block <clears throat> the g word on the test oh no <laughs> what's the g word oh <laughs> no we're a good christian man anyway that's what the g word is yeah, good yeah. christian man <laughs> This, this can't be going. Nobody can know. No, 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 no. Not um, in 2024, at least. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Was that a cold enough opening? I think that's a cold <laughs> enough opening. <laughs> We're cooked, dude. <laughs> can't okay. smoke and swear. We're cooked, dude. More or less. Um, sh should we dive right in? Yeah, well, hold on. You're Joey, and I'm Brandon. <laughs> we like music better than you. It's um, true. Cool. We'll do it better next time. Yeah. yeah anyway, yeah. we'll re-record an intro. Like, <sighs> yeah, all right. It's fine. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> we do. We want to read. Well, episode zero is not public. It's not ever going to be public. So, so we, we got to redo. redo everything. Um, well, we can use part of that cold open. And then have like a little yeah. intro card and then into the episode. Yeah. Yes. So that we can just kind of start fresh from here. Yes. So. Um, so you want me to make the graphic for that or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course I will. Um, you got to pick the logo vibe. I, I, everything I do just turns in sad. <laughs> well, mine's probably going to be sad too. <sighs> no, it'll I mean, just turn sad without the F word. Yeah, we'll make something cool. Uh, so, as we said in the intro, this is Brandon, and I'm Joey, and we like music better than you. Um, Brandon, since this is episode one, and you more or less came up with this idea, why don't you take us away? Yes. So, conceptually, here's what we're doing today. Uh... I thought of the first theme, but perhaps next week, Bojo. Perhaps next week, still me. Um, basically, pick a theme, come together, and track for track, pick out, uh, I think this song fits this theme, etc. And uh, typically, when we listen to music together, it turns into a nightmare. Yeah. So, we decided to record it. So, more or less, we're going to build a themed playlist together each week uh five to seven tracks from each of us yeah um and kind of trade song for song react back and forth with one another we're and band for uh, band. we're going band for band yeah and uh we're gonna roast each other we're going to yell we're going to very unkind to me on a daily basis <laughs> we're gonna have a good time um so with that, uh, what's our theme this week, Brent? Our theme this week is sad songs in the key of happy. Which is more or less most of the music we listen to. Yeah, there's a lot of, I, I didn't realize till 
Like, I could have done all seven tracks uh, as just one track. Yeah, I could have chose one band for every <laughs> single track. Um, <laughs> and I think it is important to specify that the songs that we chose are not what we consider the best songs of this theme, but some of our favorites. Oh, 100%. You know? The um, best is subjective. Yeah. And subjectively, we know what's best. Yeah. Better than you. Scientific do. fact. Um, well, would you like to take us away, Brandon? Would you like yeah. to go song one? Yeah, hand me that, dude. All right. Fire you off the controls. Song one with a bullet. What is la What is what's 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 with the bullet? What's up with that? <clears throat> saying? Brother, I don't yeah, know anything about anything. Right. I'm simple, man. All I know is sad songs that sound happy. <laughs> All I know is eat hot chip and lie, dude. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> so, song one. What is this man going to hit me with? Something that's been hitting us for 16 years now? <laughs> yeah, about the entire length of our friendship. Oh, baby. Period. That's a good one. Favorite house to land, Kogi and Cambria. Your eye, sniper, rush you. seconds of, oh it plays the little noise yeah a little noise track for the next song but like i don't know exactly what's going on at that point and so like obviously every coheed and cambria song is about a comic book yeah that claudio wrote um the amory wars uh i don't know exactly what's going on at that point i read a couple of them but that was a long time ago but looking through some of the notes here i mean he's talking about just for the pre-chorus, good eye sniper, here I'll shoot, you run. It says, taking place during the second battle for Apity Prime in the Amory Wars saga, Claudio Kilgannon is using his abilities to turn Al the Killer into a thrall to kill as many Red Army soldiers as possible before being overwhelmed. So, uh, yeah, this is a sad song. Uh, fuck it. It's just about some guy using his powers to turn someone Sorry into a thrall and murder people. Or Sorry to that man. <laughs> I, I ain't reading all that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my out god! One time. That's good. That's that was a good track. That's ridiculous. Heck yeah! So, oh, a favor, House Atlantic by Coheed and Cambria. It was good number one. Are we doing favors? Uh, favor House. Let's see my track list here. Well, it's funny. I think Might as well get it out of the way first, because if one of the fantastic songs I chose is a little tune called uh, Three Evils Embodied in Love and Shadow by Coheed and Cambria. We're just going to suck Coheed dick the whole time. Let's go. while your face down in the dirt. Right we gotta save our commentary for the Yeah, 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 yeah. What do we go from the interstate walking away? We're back. Well, well, you're back. I'm... I'm in the middle of being bad. Mm. Jingle jangle, all right. Jingle jangle, jangle jangle, jangle jangle, jangle jangle. Is that an original song? Uh, it's a variation on an, or on someone else's. A variation team. on a newborn theme. Oh, brother! All right, we're back. 
we're back. Um, we're so back. So that was Three Evils Embodied in Love and Shadow by Coheed and Cambria. Um, as we were saying, Brandon and I discovered Coheed and Cambria as young lads in about eighth grade and uh, have been obsessed ever since. Um, and at that point, this point in the Coheed and Cambria story, uh, for those who want to read the comic book, this song is about someone getting tortured and ripped apart and then just thrown away, discarded. So Yeah, that's rough stuff. Kind of gross. Well, sounds of yeah, but it, I mean, it goes crazy style. Dude. This is easily also the the worst era to get into Coheed. Like the nerdiest yeah. era. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a wonder that we didn't get into the like the nerdier bands like this, like all the other prog stuff, because y'all can keep that. Rush got tracks. A couple tracks. Um, Not a dream theater guy. If you are, <laughs> choose another podcast. I'm pushing you in a locker. Uh, well, Brandon, next song. Ooh. See, my list is on that, but it's all up here. Right in the so mind it's, palace. It's in the palace of my mind. This one's gonna. This one's gonna drop crazy. And if it doesn't... Am I going to need to even look up lyrics for this one? <laughs> Honestly? Maybe not. This is a beloved track. Okay. I don't know if you're ready for this. We'll see what we got. It's like a hammer. Ooh! Okay. Think no, about. yeah. Whew. I'll need a refresher. Let's see. It's a bump. You're being put through. It's just time to pay the price. What a tune! <sighs> Everyone's a fuss. It's beef. It's you. You're dancing. You're crying and you're dancing. Yeah, that's a bop. <laughs> I'm moshing. I'm spin kicking. Fucking. Like a noise musician. <laughs> you put a ski mask on him? Come on. I would love to see a noise set. Depeche Mode's a couple <laughs> ski masks to folding tables away from. 90s Depeche Mode would have done I would have paid money to see it. It's, yes, it's gonna play a thing. Okay. Um, I might. All right. It's not the happiest sounding, per se. But it is a vibe. You're dancing. Like you're dancing for sure. But like, yeah, that song's kind of, kind of soul crushing. It's dark. Never again is what you swore the time before. Come like on. I'm, I'm fairly certain it's about like re drug relapse. Because mm. I think the rest of Violator, the best Depeche Mode album, Scientific Fact. Um, it's just like love songs about drugs and like who doesn't love a drug? Yeah, I mean Um Yeah in the words of Kesha Love is, Your my, love drug. is my drug. Uh yeah, great track. Good choice. Um it gets me every time. That was that was like really high up on my Spotify rap for like three years in a row. Yeah. It's I, I'm not like a huge Depeche Mode fan. I really like that album. That's the only album for me. Yeah. Um, but that is the track for sure. 100%. I, uh, personal Jesus, no way. No, he was. Listen, Jesus, I think he was a smart guy. No, all right, I'm not gonna do an anti Semitic. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> um, well, moving on. My next track is one I don't think you'll know, but I think you'll like. Um, it is a song called Darkness by Pine Grove. <laughs> Finding roaches in the pot. Ooh. Ooh. It's on my mind. 
Like the bug, or like... Who knows, man? Ooh, either way. It makes you think. Yeah. I'd rather have roaches in the pot than roaches in the pot. Here for cheese. Oh, I have pot? Is it double one pot? What a lie. Yeah. They got licks. They got licks for days. They got licks. I'll give you some licks for days. Alright. Fucking pussy roll out. Oh, no. So, he, bite, he bites. I love this part. This is where it gets sad. You broke the rules, dude. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, an, it's an innate reaction from so him. Just the I can't help it. That's a bummer. That's a real bummer, it huh? It starts off hot. Yeah. You're it's like, oh, real shit. happy. It's a big vibe, and you're you're jamming along, and then it's just... Oh, I'm bummed now. Oh, fuck. But even at the happy point, I mean, just like... It starts off hot. Yeah. Lyr good. It starts off hot. Suddenly I find I've got darkness on my mind. It's a question mark that keeps me looking, and it's never satisfied. Sad. That also could be Depeche Mode lyrics. It could be. Um, yeah, Pine Grove uh, got many, oh, many, many tracks. tracks. Uh, definitely most of them sad, but love it. I can't listen to anything that's not either incredibly sad or completely manufactured. Yeah. I need the, the bubble gummist of K-pop. See, I have not... Uh, it's a road I've not traveled. Listen. I know you'll make my me. road. I know you'll make me. You stay off my road. Okay. All <laughs> right. your shit. <laughs> my shit. All right, my bad, my bad. Um, no, oh, that would be amazing if we just got drunk at a K-pop show. Let's go. Tell you, I'm, I, I'm, I'm want to, I want to curveball you, but I don't know which of my curveballs to throw first. Okay, let me get a good. Let's, let's see. We're gonna. All right, this is. Let me know the song so I can look up lyrics. Uh, I will as soon as it starts. It starts off hot. You will not. There's no. Oh, for the people. Fuck the people. Okay. This is Easy Lover. Phil Collins. <laughs> Phil, Phil Bailey. Okay. All right? Starts off hot. Listen to that. Come on. Oh man. He did not have to hit that that hard. He didn't need to go that hard at all for any of this. Listen to the power of that drum. The impact. Yeah, man, hitting. I always forget that this song exists, and then every time I hear it, I'm like, Yeah, it's the part oh. of the track. Like, Phil Collins has tracks, so this is the track. Yeah. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, I'd mosh. I'm moshing right now. <laughs> Came on in traffic, almost punched a hole in my window. They could just they could just keep going forever. They had to some just, say they are still yeah, going. They had to decide to just fade it out in the studio. They just kept going for like twenty minutes. Dude, that's an outstanding track. I uh, it gets me heated every time. <laughs> Next theme said they're happy songs that make you angry. <laughs> Oh my god. Um Yeah, I mean It's a warning to stay away from a woman who's wrong many people. Many a man. I mean, yeah. But it was it doesn't work. You're trying to save your boy. Your boy's like nah. Dude. Phil and Phil really cooked on that I track. I can fix her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Phil squared. Phil squared. Holy moly. God. Well. Damn. All um, right, hear me out though. Okay. It's basically a Kobe camera. 
Dragon. Oh yeah, hundred percent. What's that one song on the, on the In Keeping Secrets? Uh, Faint of Heart. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I should. I one of us should have picked that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. could have done. All It'll be on one of our other episodes yeah. eventually. Oh, that's a track. <laughs> it's a great track. Um, so on to my next song. Um, this is a fun one. You'll probably want to pull up the lyrics to this one because it's it's a bop, but. Boy, is it a bummer. Oh, okay. All right. This is Sucker's Prayer by the Decemberists. Oh, love a sea shanty. Love a little tambo action. Fuck them all to death. That's uh, the double Chris's. Chris Moan on the drums, Chris Bonk on the guitar, brother. Oh, really? White people be crazy. White people can't believe the Decemberists. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're cooking again. I'm gonna have such a time and a half editing this. Yeah. Um, so that was Sucker's Prayer by the Decemberists. I love that song. Um, that was one of their newer albums. Uh, I'll be your girl, I believe that's called. Um, yeah, Malloy ain't being nobody's girl. Right. Malloy's everybody's girl. Um, and right. it's got it's really good. That's one of my favorite songs on it. Um, why don't you hit me with your next one, brother? You know what? I'm gonna keep the curveball train rolling here. Let's go. I'm gonna hit you with something you probably haven't thought about in years. <clears throat> okay. All right. We, we I need to make sure. Yes. We're, we're recording this. I need. I need to. I look forward. This isn't gonna hit very hard, probably. But let me tell you, it's a track. What is this? This, my friends, is Brandy by Looking Glass. What a fine girl. Oh. It's like the ultimate hack. You know what to put there? Star scatting, bro. <laughs> it's a love or hate situation. Scatting is fun when it's not in jazz. <laughs> or in new metal. Yeah, I mean, this. It's a tragedy. What a earworm. This is gonna be stuck in my head forever. sing forever about Brandy. It's a tragedy. This man's got a baddie, the town baddie, obsessed with him, and he'd rather fuck the ocean. He would rather ride the open waves. My life, my lover, my lady, my wife, my lover, my lady. The sea. The sea. I mean, what a pussy. Yeah, that's a, that's a bummer of a track. But boy, does it go. God damn. Um, well, this one's also going to be a big bummer. <laughs> We're doing good. Yeah, doing real good with this yeah, yeah, yeah. sad song. Happy. Oh God. You're probably gonna want to look up the lyrics for this one as well. Am I gonna start? Am I gonna want to start writing a will? Or... Yep. Okay. This song is called Jaybird by Willie Carlisle. I got a cousin called Jaybird. Well, real song. Yeah. It's like very. Ride a horse to it for that. Heck yeah. And super catchy. Taking that thing for a walk, brother. Those breaths are on fire. So that's a nice, fun little ditty. Um, and you took the words out, because they make you want to kill yourself. But if you took the <laughs> words out, 
you could it could be a montage in a Disney movie oh, yeah, of like dude. a baby bear cub learning how to be a it's like adult. A like super it's like, hopeful sounding tune, but about like seeing your friend that thing. killed himself in everything and just missing them. That you is know? truly horrendous. It is sad. Go fuck yourself, Chase. <laughs> Sorry. This, um, this next one's not gonna be any better. <laughs> oh, let's go. I have context around it that <clears throat> makes it even sadder. Oh, okay. So we're gonna get into that. I but can't I, it's wait. It's a track I know you're unfamiliar with because I, in the same way that I have not been able to come around on uh, Pine Grove, you haven't come around on my man Mike Kinsella and Owen. Listen, man, I'm a Couple fan. I, I respect it, um, but it's not the flavor of sad that I like. It's not, and I, yeah. I can respect that. All right, we're gonna. You're gonna go. I'm gonna force you. I'm taking the public opportunity. I want to like it. You to listen to Owen. Let's go a little more. This is a track called "Coffin Companion." Okay. The man's picking an angle. Yeah, that was a that one was a bummer. It's a it's a real sweet track if you don't listen to the like you like pay attention to the lyrics. But see, see lyrically still though, it's kind of it'll it like it, you can interpret it as a sweet love song. Like yeah, our lives are shitty, but I like but I still love having a shitty life with you. I guess he got divorced like right after this album. <laughs> oh, clearly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean that last part. That's I mean. The whispers found a place to hide. Now we can age with grace and silence. I won't speak until spoken to. Won't ask for love like the others do. Just close my eyes and let the medicine kick in. Just like, yeah. I'll just let it, let us rot together. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, yeah. That's... It, it goes from this, and then two albums later, it's fucking mom and dead, never together. You know? Um, we're so, coffin companion, we're fucking nothing. Anymore. So what was your context? That was it. it was his yeah. life immediately yeah, yeah, fell apart yeah. in that's... the following two albums. That's clear. I, holy shit, that one bummed me out, dude. I fucking, Thanks. That's why there's a reason I listen to so much Owen all day, every day. It's yeah. also probably why I'm in therapy. Detrimental anyway, to yeah. your health, yeah. <laughs> it is a detriment um, to my well-being. So this one, uh, this one's a song that when I first heard this album, I listened to this song all the time, like not paying too much attention to the lyrics. Um, and like the song sounded kind of super hopeful to me and like had this kind of upbeat vibe. So I like listen to it all the time. And then one day I looked in, looked up the lyrics and it bummed me out so much. Um, <laughs> so we'll listen to it and then I'll kind of give some context for the story. Place, um, this is, if you want to look up the lyrics, uh, Potemkin City Limits. Oh, you, you've put this one on before. Did... <sighs> yeah, Potemkin City Limits by Propagandy. I'm Let's not go. even going to pretend I know how to spell that. So thanks for that, buddy. Go fuck yourself. Propagandi, is Potemkin spelled phonetically? There it is. The Pikmin City Limits. And here we go. Talking about a song that's got a lot of words. But in like half the delivery of the other song. Like yeah. Delivery time. You got that expedite. You got the Amazon Prime delivery. This part. Wash over him, boy. That, uh, that murder? So, on? the backstory for this song, the TLDR on Potemkin City Limits, is that um, basically in this small town in Canada, uh, there's a there was a slaughterhouse where a, a pig escaped as it was being led into slaughter. And it made its way into... We're gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start crying. you got to stop. Made its way in... I'm vegan. Again. Yeah. This song made me stop eating meat for a while. I have continued but loves a pepperoni <laughs> love a pepperoni brother but that's how much this song bummed me out i uh so it's this pig escapes this is a true story too pig escapes <sighs> for five months it's just running free in the woods living as a pig should just being a wild animal and uh meanwhile they're trying to recapture this pig and it gets tranquilized uh, but one of the tranquilizer darts punctures one of its organs and it gets killed. Oh, it. Meanwhile, the news story that the town is running with about this pig is that this is the pig that gained its freedom. This is 
this is Francis the pig who uh. escaped. And they, they, you know, they like named him and all this shit. Um, they even erected a statue in the ci- center Why of the city. Why are they trying to get this pig back? What fucking supervillain is like, I need that pig? Yeah. So, yeah, they, they erect a statue for this pig that gained his freedom. Um, meanwhile, he gets tranquilized. He gets killed from the tranquilizer and they take him back to the slaughterhouse and cut him up like they would. Uh, and a Potemkin, a Potemkin village is a term for basically like uh, a, a facade that is set up to keep up appearances. So mm. I think like the abandoned like ghost villages that are made to look like a, a country look wealthier and more populated than the it is. The nuclear test now. Like shit like that. Um, Horrendous. So that's the song's a fucking Don't bummer. Fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Um, that, that could be a Wes Anderson movie. Yeah. With puppets and fucking Clooney as a fox. Anyway. Hit us with your next one, brother. Oh my god. Well, I don't... <sighs> How can I go on? I know. I knew that one would hit you. Oh, my God. You piece of shit. All right. Um, Down by two heavy hitters, and I don't even know what I want to pull out first, you know? I didn't really go in any particular order. I know, but I got... I I got... You know what? Yeah. No, I get it. I'm going to go for the... Hit me with something. This one I warned you about. It'll still hit hard. What do we got? Oh! oh my god. Okay. <laughs> really bringing the spirits up after the last one. Oh! Come on. Oh, I mean, come on, dude. All those times I said that I love you, you lied to me. Yes, I tried. Yes, I tried. I mean, one of the immaculate vibe on this track, if you pay attention, you'll kill yourself. 100%. But you're vibing the whole time. Return of the map you done. Oh, oh, oh. The ad libs are the best part. Incredible. Odd to me. She said she'd never turn on me. You lied to me. But you did. But you did. Wants my pearl. <laughs> Up and down. And lyrics. Round and round. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Once again. Of the world. There's a whole other second set of lyrics that you don't even hear. I know. I mean, come on. About a snake woman, dude. <laughs> snake woman. Who wronged him so much, he had to go away to come back. <laughs> to return. Well, like the Messiah himself. Or he went to jail. I don't know. He has a, kind of a storied past. I'd have to look at the time. You know what? It's a, he might have returned from prison. It's a banger of a track about a man going through it, whatever it is. And I love it. Um, uh, for my next one, this is a fun one. This song's a bop. It's got a lot of energy to it. I'm actually also replacing another song on my list with this song. Because it didn't fit the vibe. It did, but I like this Watch one more. My flow, dude. Here I go. So, this song is called Nausea by Jeff Rosenstock. I mean, you right? In South Wisconsin, I... It's fucking party time, brother. I'm skinny. I'm skinny. That's a bummer, bummer of a track, it but it goes hard. It's either he's going to bed drunk and waking up nauseous, or he's getting off the sauce. And just withdrawals. going through it. Yeah. yeah. Could be either way, which is smart if you're going to write a song about maybe a problem you have, maybe you could have it again. Relatable to, to many and, and 100%. most. I love that it also just sounds like if, um, it sounds like a, a movie song that Jason Siegel wrote and performed. <laughs> yeah, 100%. It's, uh, it's the Dracula song. Yeah. It's, from, it's, yeah. It's that, but, that's most of Jeff Rosenstock's catalog. It's it's essentially the same thing. 
take us away, brother. Is this your final one? This might be my final one. Okay. I could. I have some. some I have honorable table, mentions, but, but uh, you know, this is. The, we'll, we'll call this my last final entry. And I think <laughs> right now. Who knows how long we haven't been going? I'm keeping an eye for the blinking. Oh, okay. Okay, speed it up, go! Circle fit, circle fit, everybody circle fit. When I was but a boy, I very naively thought that that was just the sweetest love song ever. And then, yeah, and then you find out it's about the Holocaust. You ever just write a horny love song about your grandparents fucking in, in the Holocaust? In the Holocaust? No, I can't say I have. Um, but boy, I'm glad Max Bemis did. I don't know if I am, but I'm glad. It, I'm glad I could enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. It's enjoyable. Um, I don't know if conceptually that could be down with that. You didn't have to make it horny. Yeah, it's a wild thing to write about. <laughs> I, that's insane. Um, for my final track, this one might be, you know, it's nothing obscure. It's the entirety of everything at the end of time by The Caretaker. <laughs> yeah, so buckle up. Yeah. No, Four it's, hours. Uh, it's one everyone knows. It's a fun one. And it's a little ditty called just dance, Lady Gaga? Nope. Hard oh. Times by Paramore. Oh, shit. It may as well be Just Dance by Lady Gaga. Oh, my gosh. I mean, this whole album fits the bill. Oh, fuck. Boy, does it go. Sad Beach Boys? That's turnover, but anyway. Hard Times. After all, <laughs> motherfuckers want to be talking heads so bad that they became talking heads. Now they're doing talking heads tribute. Album. I bet this goes hard in like a gay bar. Oh yeah, brother. Fourteen-year-old us pissed if it exists. Yeah. If it us now, we're vibing. I'm we're vibing much. hard. Um, Joseph, you yeah. yourself with that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That concludes my list. Oh, um, my God. I got plenty of honorable mentions, but... Uh, Listen to everything by that Mike Kinsella has ever done. A lot of it is just brutally sad, but there's a couple of it. Like, he gets, uh, gets strummy and happy, and you're like, oh, my God, this is awesome. And then he's, he's we'll, still uh, We'll put these songs on a playlist. Yeah, I'm thinking we definitely, we yeah. definitely do. We'll put these tracks on a playlist. Um... So that if anybody wants to listen, y'all can. Um, you can tell us how much you hate these songs. Tell us how much you love these songs. Tell you'll us we're wrong. dumb. And you'll be wrong because we like music better than you. Um, but I suppose that that concludes That concludes one. the list in the yeah. episode one. I think maybe we'll do a cold out. Yeah, absolutely. We're, okay. So Just next hang week, for a minute. Next week, what are we thinking? Next week, I got a couple ideas in the chamber. Um, four main ones. 
Uh, you got any ideas? Well, I mean, I sent you a bunch, and I can't remember a damn thing. I can't check well, my phone. Well, the ones that I have listed down here, what do we think of between these? We did sad songs that sound happy. We could always do the flip side and go for truly the saddest shit on the planet and just be a bummer. Um, I also like... I have to build up to that one. Yeah. I That's like joy in sonic form. Like, think songs that just make Instant you feel dopamine. fucking happy. Yeah, that just hit so hard. Um, fight riffs. Ooh. Songs with a riff that you hear and you're like, I'm <laughs> swinging through the wall. I'm putting Easy Lover on that list too. Easy Lover. I mean, yeah, easily. Policy of Truth goes on that list. <laughs> and then my last one that I think could be fun is, uh, and this one is very uh, subjective. Uh, it is goofy shit that goes hard. Stuff that like you show most people, they're like, this sucks. This kind of honks. <laughs> but when you're driving or you're in your room by yourself, you're spin kicking. You know, you're going crazy. You're punching the roof of your car. It goes so damn hard. It gets you fired up. Uh, see, that that would be a situation where I have to force you to listen to K-pop. Mm, okay. That could be fun. There's songs that have come on, goofy as hell. I'm going to kick my windshield out. You know what I mean? Mine's just going to be rock hard. Yeah, dude, I got music. I think, I think that could be a fun one. Should we do that? Goofy shit that goes hard? Goofy shit that goes hard. All right. Next All episode. Of our shirts. Goofy <laughs> shit that goes hard. Um, I guess we'll be putting this on YouTube. So uh, if you have any ideas for I playlist that you want to see us make leave them down in the comments um other than that get fucked yeah actually get fucked but also should I make like a like a, like a different youtube channel? yeah i'll make a different channel yeah um episode zero exists but none of you will get to see it yeah that's that's for pop that can never see the light of day <laughs> um you should send that to you though he'd probably be stoked <laughs> yeah he would love it he would like to see it uh, well, we done here? I'm Brandon. This is Joseph. We like music better than you. So go for it.